Welcome to the Flash video series on Endocrine Guidelines. We are talking about Endocrine Society's guidelines on Addison's disease. We are going to talk about sick day rules today. If you have a diagnosis of Addison's disease and you suffer from a sickness bug, fever or vomiting, make sure you are aware of the sick day rules. If you have fever with a temperature more than 38 degrees, make sure you double the dose of your usual steroids for two to three days until your fever settles. If you're on hydrocortisone 1055, increase it to 201010. If you're on prednisolone 5 mg, double it to prednisolone 10 mg once daily. Similarly, if you have a fever of more than 39 degrees, you may even triple the usual dose of your steroids for two to three days until the fever settles. Hydrocortisone 1055 turns into hydrocortisone 30, 15, 15, and prednisolone 5 turns into prednisolone 15 mg. Make sure you have enough amount of fluids and electrolytes to stay well hydrated during your sickness. If you are trained to give yourself intramuscular injections, then make sure you take your hydrocortisone 100 mg injection intramuscularly or subcutaneously. However, remember, injectable therapy at home is only a time-buying measure to reach hospital. And if you're not trained to do so, don't attempt to take it. Tips to avoid Edisonian crisis at home. Remember, if you have temperature above 38, double the dose of steroids. Temperature above 39, triple the dose of steroids. Extra amount of fluids must be taken orally to ensure you're well hydrated. This may avoid the necessary to go to hospital. When to seek urgent medical advice? Seek urgent medical advice if you are vomiting because you cannot take your hydrocortisone orally. If you require increased dose of oral steroids for more than 2-3 to three days and still feel unwell, seek medical attention. Whenever you take injectable steroids at home, always seek medical advice. Make sure you are always wearing your steroid alerts which may be a bracelet or a necklace to ensure paramedics are aware of your conditions. And always carry your steroid emergency card with yourself to help the paramedic staff. Further information is available on the link written below. These are the top tips to prevent a Edisonian crisis at home and help you with the sick day rules. Make sure you click on the next video to find out how to manage Edisonian crisis in different conditions.